delicious Singapore hawker food at Kelang Baru Food Center. Welcome to another food adventure with Getting Lost. Today, we are at Kelang Baru Food Center to try some noodles. And more noodles, this time with braised mushroom. And some popia. And some rice with braised duck. So join me as we explore Kelang Baru Food Center and try all the delicious good food that we can find here at this food center, which will happen after the intro, which is coming up now. Let's start with how to get there. Like all food adventures, that's what we do. First of all, get yourself to Kelang Baru MRT Station, which is on the downtown line, and we are looking for exit A. So once you get out of the gantry, walk straight. And once you walk straight, you'll notice that there's actually an escalator going up. Take the escalator up. Yes. And then on the top there, you'll notice you can actually turn right or turn left. If you actually turn left, it takes you to exit B. You turn right, exit A. So we're going to exit A. And if you're actually going to take the elevator uh, to exit um, B, that's the elevator. And over here is the elevator to exit A. So what we're going to do is, we're going to take the... We're going to turn right and then turn right again to take the escalator up again. And we're going to take it all the way up. One thing slightly different about this uh, MRT station is, there's a few levels. So there's the ticketing counter and then place one one and then here again you U-turn and you take it up all the way to the top right up there and here is exit A once you do once you reach the top you turn right And here we are at exit A, walk down this flight of stairs, turn left, and in front of you, this road here is actually called Kelang Baru Road. So once you're here, you're gonna turn left here, go to the traffic light, walk across, and then turn right and walk all the way down. Another alternative is you can actually take the elevator to the top. So instead, um, after you get out the gantry, you walk straight, then you turn right, and you see there's actually an elevator, and then you just take the elevator up. So once the door open, get in and get up to basement one, B1. As you see, so B2 is the ticketing concourse, B1 is this area here. Okay. And this area here, you can actually uh, take the elevator to exit A or exit B. The one for exit A is on the right here. If you turn left, it's exit B's elevator. So just head towards the elevator, that will take you to the street level. And here again, press the button, go get in, and out the other side. And once you reach there, and here, we are here again at the exit. So, turn left. So once you turn left, walk straight, 
and like I said earlier, the road in front of us is actually Kelang Baru Road. Turn left again, and once you reach the traffic light, turn right, and you cross here. You get across the road. You turn right again and walk straight down that direction. So if you head down that direction, you notice that there's actually a car park, a turning into the car park. So you take that turning in. Here you are. So this is the turning. You turn left in here. And once you turn left, you see the Gelang Baru Food Center. And here is where we're going to eat all the good food at this food center. And Gelang Baru is actually a new name. The old name for this place used to be called Kolam Aye, which is derived from a Malay phrase called um, if you translate it, it means uh, pond water. And this area here used to be an area before the development of this area, Kalang area, was known to have numerous Malay kampongs. But today, it's a nice, beautiful, clean, modern housing development area. And one of the first places I tried at this food center is this place here called Red Stove Fried Hokkien Mee and this shop here sells Hokkien Mee a small portion costs 350 uh, medium 550 I actually went for the medium one and here is the plate of noodles it's actually a very generous amount of Hokkien Mee so the first thing you get here is you get a very well fried plates of orders like I said generous amount and a very good back texture to the noodles firm noodles um, and then when you're eating it you also have a very nice contrasting back texture to the pieces of sliced squids inside here uh, the taste prominent taste you get from the noodles here is you get the taste of the noodles and egg taste and you also get a slight seafood aftertaste. The soup, uh, the sauce at the bottom here, is actually slowly will slowly be absorbed into noodles. The sambal here only adds spice to the noodles; doesn't really add any extra flavor. Uh, overall, like I said, it's a very good plate of fried noodles. Um, not as strong uh, seafood broth as other places, but if you like. The, noodle, the taste of noodles and like a good plate of fried noodles this is a very good plate and also a very generous amount of noodles next up is this shop here that's called bang bang mushroom bak chow mee and here they sell bak chow mee or braised mushroom minced meat noodles and here is the noodles. I ordered the 350 portion, uh, dry, chili, and with meat pork noodles. Meat pork noodles is actually flat uh, egg noodles. In total, cost me 350. They put in some pork lard, as you can see there. Okay, so one thing different about these noodles is that it doesn't have a vinegary aftertaste at all. What it does have it has a very nice comforting braised mushroom taste yes braised mushroom taste which is very comforting very nice and very different when from normal uh, bak chow mee so here if you like uh, mushroom the taste of mushroom here is a good noodles for you uh, Everything else here is just average, except the taste. The taste here, like I said, um, what they concentrate on is more of the braised mushroom taste. And here, it does have a very nice braised mushroom taste, which I quite like. Something different. Uh, yes, something different. If you like that, then this is the noodles for you. It gives you your bang for your buck. 
And I was around, I also noticed that we have another shop here that makes a handmade spring roll and spring roll skin. And so I ordered two popias from here. It cost me 180 each, so in total 360. And here is the popia. If I'm not mistaken, I ate at their brunch at Albert Court near Bugis and I actually enjoyed their popia. Here, um, what I can say first of all is the popia skin has a very nice spike texture to it and they actually fold the popia nice and nicely, nicely folded, okay. nice and tight and then uh, things doesn't fall out which is good and when you bite it you have the nice uh, braised turnip in there then you have peanuts you have cucumber then you have some uh, crunchy pieces in there which is quite nice I like the textural difference uh, only issue I have is it's a bit too sweet they put in some kind of sweet sauce that is overpoweringly sweet too sweet but other than that, it's a nice popia. And one of my favorite foods here at this food center comes from this store called Jockey Boneless Braised Duck. And here they sell braised duck. And this shop here, there's a queue. They, from the time it opens to the time they sell out, there's a queue for the food. So if you want to eat, you will have to line up. But for three dollars, you can get uh, a braised duck rice, and what you get from there is first of all thinly cut pieces of duck, and on the duck is actually placed on top of a nice bed of rice. This rice is also seasoned and flavored so well that you can just eat it by itself. Then you also have a nice savory duck flavored slightly starchy which is sweet and savory sauce that they pour on both the duck and the rice they're so good so delicious and then what i really like is um, when you take your when you eat this duck this braised duck rice you have first of all uh, the duck the duck and the duck skin the duck fat the duck meat all absorbs the spices and flavoring and when you bite into it they release the flavor in different intensity so when you bite into it together with the rice and together with the sauce oh a flavor bomb in your mouth explodes oh, so delicious so good so yummy and then not only that uh, from behind the counter the auntie can also give you a chili sauce which is uh, sweet and sour and spicy and complements the duck so well and not only that you also have a nice little bowl of soup which is light have a nice herbal taste which is a clear soup and nice herbally flavor very good very delicious and it's just a totally delicious meal that you have to come and try Anyway, thank you very much for joining me for my food adventure here today at Geylang Baru Food Center. This food center has a few good food gems that you have to come and try. Yes, delicious good food. So, what, what are you waiting for? Come down and eat. Anyway, thank you very much for joining me for my food adventure here today. I hope you enjoyed it because I surely did. And lastly, before I go, Please do me a favor, please help me by liking my video, sharing my video, and subscribing to my channel. You don't have to, but I would appreciate it if you do. And lastly, but the most important thing, the thing that you have to do is to join me for my next food adventure. Yes, you. See you there. Bye-bye.